First of all, the best way to crash is to not crash at all. This you can do best by learning step by step on trampolines, airbags and into powder, just like we show you in every tutorial. You will still crash sometimes and then I suggest you should try to always land on your feet, even just a little bit on one foot or so, so you can take most of the impact then roll and slide. In the rest of the tutorial I will show you how they learn to fall in martial arts, the only sport where people actually practice crashing. Check it out! Hi, this is Jens at Stompy Tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to crash. That sounds ridiculous. But seriously, it's a skill. Some people can crash all day and they'll be fine. And some people like trip over or slide a little and break the collarbone. So it's totally a skill. So if you learn how to fall better, it's going to save you probably weeks and months of recovery time of really bad crashes that can cause some proper injuries. I think I've been lucky not to hurt myself too much because I had a couple of years of martial arts training and I think I'm going to show you a little bit about what I learned then. In martial arts it's quite simple the, the theory they have behind falling well. That when you fall, you're like rolling up, it's that you keep your arms straight and you smash it into the ground. It hurts but it hurts way less than landing straight on your hip and arm. So you like spread out the surface area of the body as much as possible. And that smash makes you crash gently. And that's pretty much what you should do. But oh boy, I know I don't always do that. But quite often, sometimes I do it at least. And what you shouldn't do is that you crash on your side, try to like catch it with an elbow, or even worse, like this. Because here you have a wrist, oh man, shoulder breaker. Here, shoulder breaker. Yeah, that's just crap. So, you can just start off from the beginning, like tip over, like that, smash the arm really hard. And then, once you've done it really small, you can go big. That didn't even hurt. <laughs> once you've done it half, half big, do it even bigger with speed. Ah! That was great. So that's the side crash. Key steps, land on your side, smash the arm, maximum surface area. Learn it both ways since you never know where you're gonna crash. So that was the side crash. Now it comes to the shitty one, the back crash. Luckily we're not snowboarders who so do this all the time. We do it quite rarely on skis. But the back crash is pretty much the same. You start rolling a little, and then you smash it, arms on the side and smash those arms hard in the ground so the arms take up more of the impact. What you definitely don't want to do is something like this or that as it bends your shoulder a lot. You can break your hand, elbow, shoulder. You don't want to do that. So try to keep the arms here when you crash on your back. It's kind of just having the arms in front of you. It's counterintuitive, but it's going to save you a lot of pain. So roll a little bit. Try. Ooh. Ah, even if you do it right, <laughs> ah, that wasn't very nice. Anyways, yeah, they forced me in martial arts to do this hundreds of times. So that's the back crash. Avoid the arms back there, try to keep them out here. Poles out to the sides, ideally. But as I mentioned, no chance you're gonna be like flying through the air head first. Ah. Oh, stomp it, guy told me to keep my arms in front of me and smack them in the ground. You're not gonna remember that, but maybe, thanks for watching this, you'll avoid an injury because it's in there deep in your brain and maybe your body remembers it in the brain too. And then, so you can crash in the side, the back, and the face. I crashed in the face at one time on my bike. All this training did nothing for me. Check this out. That was 10 years ago. Went to the dentist and it didn't go so well. It took my teeth away. I get new ones soon, but I'm just saying, that crash was awful. Maybe you wanna see it. Check it out there. So I'm riding in on the bike, thinking, oh yeah, what a great idea to ride on the front wheel down this stone ledge. I did it two times before, but not enough. Got a bad turn, went diagonal across it. Look at the teeth flying there. Ah, idiot, moron. Well, anyways, what I'm saying here, do not ride your 
spike on the front wheel down stone ledges. But if you do, and if you have the slightest chance of saving yourself as you fly towards the face, I would recommend crashing something like this. So like when you land, you have this little, <laughs> this little space here to like absorb the impact. Yeah, I didn't have time to do it that time with the teeth. So I don't like crashing on my face, but anyways, I don't like it that. Oh God, I thought I was chicken out. That makes you look like a real pussy. Did that? Yeah. Okay, let's do bigger. I thought that was a decent landing. <laughs> yeah, it was good. That felt great. The three fall techniques we had, side, straight arm, the back one, roll back, and the front one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Fourth one, the often double ejector in powder. It often happens when you drop. You land, your skis sink down, just front flips you. You have about zero time to do anything about it. More than just, you know, tuck in front roll. It's not that much to think about, but you've done it in gymnastics. But if you have time to think about it, I would recommend the more martial arts kind of roll. Where you like roll crookedly over the shoulder. I think that's way nicer. Because you're like less over your head, but landing that drop in deep powder, getting stuck, it's gonna be a straight front roll. But like this. And you can round it off with that same technique as the side falling. This is the best one. You're looking seductive. So that's it for Stomper Tutorials How to Fall. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to save yourself from a couple of crashes, go out there and practice in uh, the snow. You're going to look stupid doing it. It's so worth it. Maybe it's going to save you a couple of weeks and months of rehabilitation time. So uh, take your crashes seriously and actually practice this for falling techniques. Cheers and uh, be safe out there. <laughs> oh, I feel so stupid laying here. You look, if it helps, you look pretty stupid. That helps.